When Erica Ferguson became engaged to Herbert Barker, she purchased her wedding dress and headdress from the London department store, Debenham and Freebody. The fabric and color of the dress and its semi-transparent train were extremely fashionable in 1926. The wedding took place at St. Mary's Church, Wimbledon, England. The dress is made of silk chiffon velvet and metal lace. Society beauty Margaret Wiggum wore this magnificent heart-nail design dress when she married Charles Sweeney in 1933. The gown with its 3.6 meter train is an early example of a wedding dress made for a single occasion rather than repeated use. British Pathé filmed the newlyweds emerging from Brompton Oratory. At this time, newspapers used to advertise and promote upcoming weddings and so often by the time the wedding arrived there would be a big crowd waiting outside to see the bride and her dress they've heard so much about. When florist Elizabeth King married in September 1941, she wore a traditional long dress, but in a colorful fabric. Having insufficient clothing coupons to purchase a ready-made dress, she had one made of lightweight upholstery material, which was not subject to rationing during the war. This truly beautiful dress is made from synthetic silk. Anne Molyneux married the lawyer Gordon Hodson at All Saints Sanderstead in Surrey, England on the 9th of May, 1953. Her delicately beaded lace wedding dress was made by Isabel, for whom the bride had worked as a personal assistant from about 1948 to 1951. Isabel had been one of London's most successful fashion houses in the interwar period. The dress is made of silk, machine-made lace, diamante and pearl beads with wax orange blossom on cap and tulle on the veil.